Hello everyone and welcome back to the Trinity Online channel. Thank you Trinity fans for subscribing to the channel and growing this channel together. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to get sailors for your sailing content and then I'm going to show you guys which are the three locations and where do you find the fastest sailors in the game. Now I'll start off with by introducing you guys on the item you need. And I'm going to go to the Wharf Manager. So at the Wharf Manager at Valia, I will go to Shop. In Shop, you will see this thing called the Sailor Contract Certificate. So you need to buy a few. And then after that, what I usually do is that I will store it into the storage. Okay, I'll actually keep them into the storage. So I'll keep them into the storage like three pieces for now. I'll explain why I actually do this practice for you guys. Next, we are going to head to the Valia Cookhouse. So for any players that is new to this game, if you have trouble finding the NPCs, just go to the top right corner over here, the Find NPC icon, click on it. And over here, if you scroll down, you will see the cooking, which is the cookhouse NPC. If you were to scroll up a little bit, you will also see the wolf manager. All right, so I hope this helps you guys who are new to find the NPCs you want. So when you come in here, all right, you want to wait for a little while because at times the sailors do not appear instantly okay so you need to wait about one to five minutes for them to load and you will see over here on this side of the screen there is a treasure seeking sailor there is also the tough and confident sailor over here you also see realistic and experienced sailor over here now if you want to engage a sailor for your ship Okay, first thing you must access your storage, which I already kept the three sailor certificate. You've got to put it in your inventory and then go and interact with the sailor. So for the time being, I'm not going to recruit any sailor, but just in case you guys want to understand how to recruit sailor, once you interact with the sailor, here is the higher sailor button. Okay, with a contract, which is over here in your inventory, you will be able to click this button and confirm the hiring and that's it. So where does the sailor go? He will go into your wharf manager inventory. Very, very straightforward. So for the second location, what I do is that I go to escape and I will swap to another character. All right, I'll swap to this character, which is on Elia Island. So I'm going to do a quick swap right now. The first time you arrive at Elia Island, you'll probably be at the dock, okay, using a ship to come over here. So I suggest using a sub character to come here because you want to park this character here permanently. So over here at this wharf area, you will see this mountain trail which you will head up all the way, okay? So I'm just going to run up, show you guys. Just follow the staircase, just keep going up and up and up. And over here, you don't want to go left, you want to turn right, okay? So once you turn right over here, you need to look around and observe a little bit. Over here in front of us, we do have a quick-witted sailor over here. And then over at this end, we basically have the quick and also the diligent sailor. But bear in mind, the quick sailor isn't the fastest sailor in the game okay so don't be tempted to go and recruit the quick sailor after that you will cross this bridge with a left turn and keep a lookout for sailors that may spawn at this area okay sometimes they do appear sometimes they don't your last portion will be until this stable keeper where all possible sailors will end the spawn point so sometimes they do appear around this route, so you just need to be more observant over here. But the chances of getting a good sailor over at Elia Island is slightly lower. Now and then you may get what you want depending on which aspect you're going for. So this is the second portion, which is Elia Island. So far in this video, we have covered the Valia Cookhouse, which is at the bottom over here. All right, this is Valia. And for Elia Island that we went to is actually over here. So you guys see it's quite a distance away and you have to travel by sea to this location. So for this last portion that I am changing my character to, this again over here is Valia. All right, this portion over here is basically Valia. We're going to travel all the way to the left side and over at this corner over here, all right, is Port Ephiria. So once you arrive at Port Ephiria, you most probably note this area, which is one of the most notable uh, portions, all right, of this map itself. And you want to go towards the ocean, okay? You want to go towards the ocean. Now, 
when you go towards the ocean you will see this big whale over at the top portion over here that's the location you want to head to all right so we're gonna run down quickly right now not gonna care whether if we're gonna get any damage we're just gonna jump our way through okay we wouldn't really die from subtle jumps like that it's not like major falls your hp will recover eventually so once you come over here you will be noticing that there is a work supervisor over here so this is where all the sailors will be at now if you're looking for the fastest sailor in this game you want innocent sailor unfortunately in this video at this point of recording there isn't any but during my time in collecting Innocent Sailor, they most probably spawn within this zone over here. Right now, you see a Confident and a Tenacious Sailor. You see a Tough Sailor over here. You can always look around at this corner as well to see if there are any other Sailors. But in my experience, the highest amount of Innocent Sailors actually spawn at this corner where I'm looking at, near this whale. There's also two more sailors here, treasure seeking sailors and experienced sailors over here. So you guys can choose what sailor you want, okay? However, I highly recommend innocent sailors for your initial venture because you want to sail fast. Especially the fact that where your ship at the beginning is very slow, you're undergeared. So an innocent sailor will help you boost the ship speed. However, there is one problem over here, which I will show you guys by running over to this area out to the deeper water regions all right this is where i ask you guys to watch to the end of this video and you notice over here there is a wharf manager you interact with the wharf manager you go to the shop and you realize there is something missing here there is no sailor certificate in this npc which is like i'm kind of mind boggled by this reason why it isn't here and if i were to attempt to use my storage i will end up with okay the Calpheon city storage this is not gonna help me okay however i have a method which you should click the end of this video all right you should click this video later at the end of this video on the screen right here which will teach you how to identify the mate and the storage zoning and how you can just run out slightly out of here this area to get to the Valia storage okay so I don't want to confuse you guys but there is a quick method to access earlier on the Valia storage certificate that I store there over here all you need to do is just watch the video right after this one that I have put on the screen later on for you guys so if you're wondering how you should actually bring in the sailors well when you bring out a ship okay when you for example bring out a ship then what would happen is this there is a sailor over here this managed sailor so so any sailor that you want to bring on the ship you select the idle sailor and you select board okay this will bring the sailor to the ship any sailor you want off the ship you just click this embark and it will go off the ship that's pretty much it so at this point of the guide i can only ask you for three favors number one is like this video all right just click the thumbs up button once and then drop me a comment to let me know if this video has been helpful if you have a question you can ask on this youtube comment as well even if it's not related to this video if youtube doesn't show me your comment and i haven't replied you feel free to drop by my this Discord server access link on the website everyone is welcome to ask questions there as well last but not least I have this website that I have created it took me a while with the help of people to actually create this website for you guys it contains all the beginner setting guides to get freebies to get hidden buffs and even life skill guide to help you get passive AFK income without doing anything at all I also have PVE guides if you are looking for unique classes to play with you are looking for an easy class to start black desert online well i got you covered if you want sailing guides you want guild guides to start your own guild i have them all if you like the website share it with your community it can also help you guide your new members in your guild with all the guides there without having to tell them or explain too much every single night so i hope this website helps you remember like comment subscribe this is to help me grow this channel keep me motivated in creating guides a week after week after week after week for you guys so that's not too much to ask for right it's free you just need to click the subscribe button come on 80 percent of you guys are not subscribed yet so i'll appreciate that as well i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching and being part of the trinity online fam appreciate it have a good life have a good day ahead bye bye